everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add an advanced computer to your Gorilla Tech fan game. First up, you're going to want to download the package that's going to be in my Discord. It will be this one. It will be somewhere, it will be called the advanced computer. And, um, let me just find it. This is also, this is not my advanced computer, by the way. Make sure you click all right here. And then import. Um, if it gives you this, it means you already have the name script in your game. So if I just search up name script, as you can see, I already have a du I have a duplicate. So I'm just gonna delete it. So once it gets that, now what you want to do is clear those because they don't matter. You're just going to want to drag out the, you have to go to this, it's going to be right here. Just drag it out like that. Gonna move it where you want it to be. I'm going to just put mine right here. And then, and then you want to most likely create like a cube. It's a pro builder in your shape. Cube. Make the desk. Put it like right there. Grab the computer. And obviously and also you're gonna need to make the computer bigger by the way. It's not gonna be it's gonna be pretty tiny. So I'll just make it bigger. Also if you use this, I would recommend using finger colliders or adding finger finger colliders to your game because Unless it's going to be pretty hard to click certain keys. But when you do that, you're not done yet. You still have a few things to do. Because if you go on the Joshi's advanced computer and go to keyboards, and if you turn off the name keyboard, turn on the code one, and there's nothing, there's no actual keys. So you're going to duplicate it, delete the original one, turn it on, and it should be fixed. Oh, no, never mind. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. So, yeah. If you just delete it and just control Z a few times, and yeah, it should be fixed. Same, you will have to do the same thing for the color. So, you see, it does that. So, don't, I mean, no, don't, do, do not duplicate it. Just delete it, control Z, and bam, it's fixed. I don't know why it's, you have to do that. So, just delete it and then control Z to fix it. But now. Nah. On your color keyboard, uh, you can see you click on the red and then move it up so you know. So the top one's red, so just go into here and put it as red. Next one's green, so I'll just make that green and leave that one blue. So, yeah, so now your color one is set up, your code computer should be all set up. Oh, uh, actually, no, no, there's one thing. On your enter, I think it was. I think. Let me check. Um, no. Yep. It should be. It should be all set up. Never mind. Turn off code and make it start off as name computer. I make mean, name keyboard. Uh, oh, actually, there was one thing you do need to fix. By the way, you do need PlayFab for this to work. This computer. Click on PlayFab ID. You can delete this if you want, but I want this to be my game. Scroll down so you see display PlayFab ID. Click this and then do your PlayFab Manager. Um, once you do that, your thing. Oh, now you want to go to your left and right controller. Make sure the tag is hand tag and you have a sphere collider like this. Uh, e sugar 0.06. Layer walkthrough. Um, and then also click on them again. Right click. Uh, 3D object. Uh, no, not cube, not cube. Uh, 3D object sphere. Uh, 
click the down arrow and click on both of them. Uh, put the tag as player is trigger and also put this as 0 0.06. And then turn off the mesh renders. And bam, it should be all set up. Um, I would re really recommend finger colliders like this. So if I go to my game, um, uh, if you do add finger colliders, I'll make a tutorial on how to. But yeah. Uh, if you use this uh, computer, I really recommend your colliders. Sorry about my voice, by the way. It's just been a little chappy recently, and I do not like it myself. Turn him around. Bring him over here. As you can see, it shows the FPS. <clears throat> Your FPS, so you don't need a new one. So you don't need to make one. Um, it shows online players. Your player ID. I'm mean, a play five ID. Um, and yeah, and I'll also show you that it works. So it starts off as name computer. So just bam. And also, when you click keys, it does turn them red. It's really nice. And then also, and you know what? To make this easier on me, to make this tutorial easier, code on. I just do that, make him click. And it should enable the Oh, okay. Um what the heck? I have no idea what just happened. Uh -huh. Oh, if it does not work on your code enable, put the code computer right here. All the tabs is the other two. Um, just make sure that's working for all of them. That's why mine did just not mine did not work right in there. But yeah, it does work. I promise you. Um, just if you have any questions, let me know in my Discord. I'll help you out. Um, and yeah. Also, if you wanna put the MLTD message of the day, just click on the first text, and then there should be one right here. MLTD one, and then you can just click for random stuff like this is a tutorial a -ha -ha -ha. and you just close it all up and yeah that's how to add an advanced computer to your Google Tech fan game um yeah if you have any questions just let me know on my discord I'll help you out and yeah bye everyone